Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all another Cardfight Vanguard Phantasmal Steed Restoration Booster Pack opening. We've got two more of the sneak preview for the Phantasmal Steed Restoration uh, sneak peek. I was going to open all of them, but I decided to save them for a video. I always like sharing you know, the packs to open up with you all, so I figured it'd be the best way to go about Just picked up two uh, this time around, so eight packs in total. So let's go ahead and get started with the opening. Looking for a few more cards for a few decks, and hopefully we can get some pretty awesome pulls. We'll see how my luck fares with two entries compared to a whole K, a whole kit. Starting off with Variance Hard Leg for Dark Irregulars, and then Chris Revenger Fritz. Those of you already seen the commons if you've seen my last opening. If not, I'll have it at the end of the video for you all to check out. And then we get the triggers. I believe this new one is a new one for Murakumo. But Abyss Healer is a reprint. We have Appalling Thread for Dark Irregulars. And our first foil, which I'm always happy because the foil counts are much higher in these sets in general, even with the sneaks. If you compare the boxes, I think you get like 11, you know, foils out of 16 packs, but we have Frontline Revenger Claudus for our first double rare. Very, very nice. On to pack number two. Let's see. We don't want to bend any of the cards. Always nerve-wracking when I do that. And the cards are too close to the top. I have Nightmare Doll Beverly, Shadow Shifter Dragon, Cool ball. There's Stealth Beast Cat Rogue, Uptrend Stealth Rogue Kyuichi, and we have Nightmare Doll Ellen for our rare. And we have Silverthorn Marionette Lillian for our triple rare this time around. So uh, every time I buy individual sneaks, also I always just pull double rares. Like I can never really pull, uh, you know, triple or higher. So very happy to at least see the second pull being a triple rare. A very nice one as well at that. Cool. On to the third pack. Carefully. And I actually didn't know until after the first video, but that uh, Nolly Revenger Masquerade is a Vanguard rare. I think that's crazy. Just makes it all the harder for you to build uh, Shadow Paladins, which does stink. Dark Knight of Nightmareland, awesome triple rare. Art, Delude Dancer Ethel for Pale Moon. And we have to match up with Claudus, we have Barrier Troop Revenger Dorant. So this is the grade two monster of the both of them. I wonder if the art does line up for the two, which I believe it does, because there's the cape for Claudus and Dorint. Awesome looking artwork. We'll also make a sweet playmat as that, but instead we got the Murakumo card for the playmat. We've got five packs remaining, and we're also foil for foil so far. Like I said, though, the ratios for these things are insane compared to, you know, older packs in general also. I think, like I said, I got 24 foils in total. Uh, Warlike Poisoner for Dark Irregulars. Uh, Hysteric Shirley and Blitz Ritzer. We've got Variance Killer Tail for our rare. And we have Stealth Rogue of Summoning Jiraiya without the Toad, like I said last time as well. They're very cool. Four for four. I'm not going to jinx my luck. I like to keep those results going. But I kind of remember, what were the total? Yeah, I think I pulled 24, 25 out of... Uh, some packs, uh, which the total number was 39, I believe, for the whole four times eight. Yep, 39. So 24 out of 39. Like I said, pretty good, you know, ratios for foils in total, if you think about it. We have Knight of Sferity, Dudren. And we have Wear Tiger Yay. We're five for five right now. Not bad at all. Very good card as well for Dark Irregulars. And I think I'm mixing up the foils with the rares there. But three winding down. Well, I pulled the one triple I jinxed myself after I said... Uh, with Marionetter, but let's see how we, oh my god, I'm going to have to go this direction, since that one seemed way too powerful, or way too strong, there we go, first time I think I've opened a pack like that in a while, but like I said, I didn't want to damage the cards, let's see how we do, Explosion Clown looks terrifying, surely we have Delude Dancer Ethel, and we have another triple rare, this one being Danger Lunge Dragon, I was about to say Dancer Lunge Dragon, but very, very nice. Six for six. I think I used up all my luck now with those cards. Let's see what the next pack gives us. We've got Knight of Authority, Demne. And yup, here's where the luck breaks. We have Stealth Fiend, Kirifubuki for our rare from that pack. But last pack, let's see how we end this off. 
goemon for the murakumo starter we've got variance drag form for our rare and lastly we have mage of intensity math for our second rare so yep we ended up wasting all of our luck with the beginning of that video but all in all very very happy we pulled the two triple rares and then all the others were double rares but very awesome i hope you all enjoyed the video definitely gonna be picking up uh, some boxes like i said of the set so definitely look forward to that but until next time please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and kira qualia out